routinely for an Indian child? Is there a trade going on here, Ms. Nair? Yes, there is some kind of a trafficking going on. If you look at the adoption statistics in the country, such a huge country, almost five to six lakhs of abandoned children, orphaned children, because MICS statistics of 2000 say that for every thousand children below 15, we have two children who are parentless. So these, this, <clears throat> there are children abandoned, but we don't have systems in place. And what happens is we have very few adoption agencies among the, all the districts, less than 20% of the districts in our country have an adoption program. So when children are abandoned, they land up in nursing homes. And today there's a huge demand for adopted children. So instead of going to adoption agencies, many of them, many children are trafficked from nursing homes. This we is... all know it. It's very difficult to really pin them down. A couple of times, the Karnataka State Commission has come to know about this. We've tried to, tried to you know, go and find out and investigate. But there are authorities higher no, but, than that which kind of close but, but it so what, it's really very I, difficult yeah, i think i, I, I fail to understand this Ms. Ms. Nayak, and i routinely make this point if we have allowed our own country to become the pedophile capital of the world we have allowed indian children to be sold like cattle you know to foreign homes that don't care for them who's going to give jennifer her life back Jennifer, that's the point, isn't it? Right. I, I want think, Madhavi, yes. I think I would also like to question over here because at the time when Jennifer was adopted, the processes were not in place, but the organization in the United States of America, which has actually done the adoption process, should also be no. following up with the family. No, I, what, and not what Jennifer, about but those, they should what, be what, questioning. What about those who gave Jennifer away without checking who they were giving her back to? I think they right. need to be pulled up. Who are they? The authorities in India, no, the Women the and people? Child Development Board gives recognition to every organization to be a, uh, doing adoption process. No. Without their recognition, they cannot do an adoption process. No, but Jennifer, don't you want an example made of the people who played around with your life? Right. When you were seven or eight years old? Right. What would you like to, what, how would you like them to be dealt with? Would you like the, their case to be followed up so there aren't other children who go through going what through you've the been same through? Situation. I mean, okay, if they give me back, they send me back, wow, okay, I'm very happy. But there are children that are going to go through the same process that still nobody's going to look up to. Children are getting sold, children are getting damaged. It's the children that go through that. And in the long run, they have to suffer through that. Nobody else has to. Do you feel welcome here in India now? Yeah, no. You miss your family? Yeah, I miss my family every day. Every day I miss them. Well, I wish this story goes out and I hope this everyone, every authority who's watching the show tonight, who's hearing the case of Jennifer, that we remember once again that we don't let loopholes in adoption laws get used to sell our children. Is there a sale in children going on? There is, a sale. there is a sale to some extent, but I also feel there are enough number of adoption agencies who are really doing a good work. No, I'm not doing... doubting that, but, but yes. Anisha Mortel's future was traded for money. Like I said, Jennifer Anna, Haynes' present like... and her past has been traded by irresponsible a adoptive absolutely parents. Absolutely agreed. And like I said, both these adoptions obviously have happened more than 18 years back, yeah. more than 20 years back. That was a time when processes were really not in place. In today's scenario, the process, uh, the case is different. There are a lot of successful adoptions which we can look at. I think those are the stories no, also which but need then, to be... But then, I mean, this presupposition, like we saw that lady there from Kara, the adoption agency says, do you think Indian parents are going to take care of children? Why not? I mean, Miss Nayak, is there any argument? But we saw somebody who runs an agency saying, who says that Indian parents are going to take care of children? I mean, I think there are so many deserving Indian... Absolutely. You know, p parents who would want their, who don't Absolutely. have children of their own, even if they do, Absolutely. would take a lot of care of children. It's Absolutely. not necessarily that they have to be sold abroad. Yeah, we, we have a huge waiting list all over the country, That's especially the in metro cities. So there are, but what happens in India, people are not prepared to take children with special needs. So I think if we prepare families, parents, families with children would like to open their homes to a child with special needs. I think we have not done this proactively. We have not tried to promote adoptions in the country. Less than 20 percent 20 districts in our country have adoption agencies. There are no accredited social workers to promote the adoption program. program adoption is not a mainstream program. I think CARA needs to do much more. We need to focus a lot on adoption when we have so many children who want homes. Look at the licensing of institutions. Section 34.3 of the adoption. JJ Act says all institutions should be adopted. Absolutely. Have, should be registered. How many children languishing in institutions, they need homes. 
प्लीज दे नीड होम्स देयर सिचुएशन आर एज बैड इफ नॉट वर्स दैन द गर्ल्स दैट यू आर इंटरव्यूंग I yeah, you know, when when a country, when I just you know broadly, when we look at stories like this, Jennifer, it's not just yours. We think about you know the growth of India. When a country is seeking its place in the world, in the comity of nations, then it the least it can do is to make sure that its children, their future is not traded, that they are not stolen and trafficked. And if India in 2010 is not able to stop that, then I mean I don't think it'll be exaggeration to say that you know. we don't have value for our own human life i just want to ask you finally jennifer many people watch this show people who can make a change maybe to your case and to the existing laws of maybe watching the show we hope they do a do you hope to get back to yes. america and what is it that you would like to tell them so you can be reunited with your family which seems to be the only wish really that you have all i want to say is please help me please send me back to my children that's all i ask please that that you can help other children that are going through the same suffer that you can help them and don't turn your back on them because anything can happen and people that we have to suffer nobody else has to suffer but we have to so please just send me back i think she deserves to go back I she really think i think she should be united with Absolutely. her family and children when she has children who are staying there i don't think it is right to deport her back to india well i i can only say that if anybody is watching this show tonight and we talk about the indian government's close links with america the prime minister is going to the united states of america next month he should pick up the case of jennifer hale absolutely not just deal with the big institutional matters pick up the case of jennifer hale manmohan singh can pick up the case as a humanitarian gesture america can make a change in the law because jennifer hale made no mistake no. jennifer hale did no wrong that she was taken away as a 8 year old that her life and her future was traded away she wants a life back the government of india needs to look at the case of jennifer hence because this can be the start for a big change jennifer you're a really brave woman thank let you. me shake your hand thank you keep so up much. the faith and we'll follow where thank the story you. goes thank you thank so you much. so much thank you all of you for joining us on the news hour and thank you so much